So before we get started on how to make a billboard online, I wanted to give you a little insight as to who I am and what I do. So my name is Carlos Villarreal. I'm the owner of Social Valley Media Group, and I help businesses become money-making machines. All right, And I do that primarily through two methods of online marketing, which is social media marketing and pay-per-click marketing. And if you have no idea what that is, and it sounds like some new age lingo, well, head over to this site, Check out some of the articles on there and educate yourself. So let's get started on how to create a billboard online. You're going to need three things. A Facebook page for your business, an ad account on Facebook, and three minutes of free time. And if you don't have any of these, don't worry. Scroll down below, hit the buttons, and you'll be directed to the right resources and once you have completed the, those things, come back to this video and we can get started. So you're going to go into your Facebook Ads Manager. If you don't know how to get there, go to business.facebook.com. You're going to click here and you're going to click Ads Manager. All right. We're going to go to Create. And for the purpose of this online billboard, I'm going to do like a hamburger restaurant. And the city we're going to do is Los Angeles. When you get to this screen, what's your marketing objective? It can be very confusing. There's a lot to choose from. And if you're just starting out and have no idea, don't worry. I'm here to guide you. So you're going to want to select a brand awareness. What this does is it shows your billboard, which is an online ad through Facebook, to people several times. So they'll see it one day. They'll see it the next day and so on as long as you keep your ad running. Reach is more so just to get as many people to see your ad but not as repetitively as the brand awareness. So since we want to do like an online billboard and replicate that type of behavior, we're going to select brand awareness. I'm just going to call this brand awareness test. Don't worry about ad set name. Don't worry about custom audience locations. I'll let you guys know what that is in another video. For this purpose, we're just making an online billboard. So we're going to select LA as the sample city. We're going to lower the radius to 10 miles. Actually, let's do 5 miles because traffic in LA is a headache. And most people will not drive. Well, it looks like the, the lowest you can go is 10. So... We're going to be targeting people in Burbank, Glendale, Alhambra. All these cities are here. Since we're a hamburger restaurant, we're going to go really broad. Okay. And you can see our potential reach right here is 5.8 million people, which is a lot of people. But we want to break that down, and we want to hyper-target people. As I've said before, you might have read that we can hyper-target people with this online billboard. So since we're a hamburger restaurant, we're going to target people who like hamburgers, fries, french fries, In-N-Out, which is a popular hamburger restaurant. Uh, let's do five guys. Five guys. Okay. So you can see our potential reach is 840,000 people. And these are all people who have shown interest in French fries, hamburgers, in and out or Five Guys. Now keep in mind that when you select one of these, these are OR. So it says target people who like Five Guys or French fries or hamburgers or in and out If you want to get fancy and advanced, you're going to hit narrow audience. So if you say target people who like five guys and NFL, it's going to lower the audience by a lot. See, it, it, people, there's not a lot of people who like all this stuff in the NFL. So let's say, let's say beer. Okay, if you serve alcohol at your restaurant. So you want to say target people who like this and beer, there's 410,000 people. So you narrow your audience when you do that. But for the purpose of this and for you guys when you're first testing things out, I would just target four to five interests. Okay? Connections, leave that alone. 
placements, you're going to want to select edit placements. Automatic placements means Facebook is going to just charge you a lot of money. We're going to uncheck Instagram, uncheck audience network, uncheck messenger, uncheck everything except feeds. And you can see the reach died down just because we're targeting less, uh, we're using less distribution channels. Daily budget. So if you check out the daily budget and the daily results, the more you spend, the more it's going to show. And there's usually a sweet spot. If you have money to burn, well, not burn, but money to spend, then I would suggest playing around with it and finding that sweet spot. See, right here, it looks like it's 20 bucks. Might even be 15. Yeah. I think it's 15, but for the purpose of this video, and if you're a small restaurant owner, I would use five bucks. If you're a little bigger, you could go 10, but starting out, I would suggest to test it out, and then once you find your optimized billboard, then start spending more money. You can run your ad set continuously, or you can set a start and end date. So if I want to start it, you know, May 30th and June 30th, I would select that, but just put continuously. All right. And you're going to select your Facebook page since more than likely you might not be an agency. Just select your restaurant page or your business page. You're going to select single image. You can go video too, but you got to start off small. So do image. Once you perfect the image, Go over to video. Once you perfect the video, go to carousel. Slideshow does not get that much engagement, and it's kind of good, only good for niche markets. But single image always works well. We're going to select an image right here. If you don't have any images to upload, don't worry. Go to free stock images. We're a hamburger restaurant, so we're going to select a hamburger. This looks like a nice, tasty burger right here. And you see this wording right here is directly correlates to this right here. We're going to make our advertisement. We're going to select, you know, the right copy that we want to use. And if you don't know what copy is, it's just the wording that you use in ads. So let's say attention, burger lovers. Stop by Mr. Burger on Ventura Boulevard every whatever day you want to get them over there so let's say Tuesday Tuesdays are usually slow for restaurants every Tuesday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. for 50 percent off all burgers okay and then you're gonna hit confirm Okay, and it's running. This means that it's running. So what's going to happen is it's going to confirm and it's going to go through a review. So it says in review. After 30 minutes, sometimes it takes like a minute or two. The more simple the ad, the faster it gets authorized. So it's going to go through a review phase and then you'll get an email that says your ad has been approved. Now if it hasn't been approved and you need some help figuring that out, I can direct you to the resources that will be able to help you out and you can go from there. So I hope you guys found that tutorial useful. If you know any other business owners who are having trouble purchasing space for a billboard, go ahead and sh uh, share that tutorial with them. Or just in general, if you know someone who's looking to throw a billboard online, and just get some exposure to their business, go ahead and share that with them as well. I'm going to be doing this on a weekly basis, giving you these kind of walkthrough videos. I'd prefer it if you guys would let me know what you'd like to see versus me putting things out that I would think you would need to see just because I'm actually helping you solve the problems that you have.
Okay, uh, so another thing I wanted to do for you guys because you've made it this far in the video is I wanted to give you guys a free ebook that me and my team have collaborated on. And the purpose of this ebook is to help you guys not make the same mistakes that a lot of the uh, business owners we work with make. And so we, we gave this book the title called it Facebook Marketing Best Practices. And so what this ebook is going to do, it's going to help you save time and it's going to help you save money because it's going to show you everything you need to do in order to get an online ad up on Facebook with all the right criteria and following all the guidelines recommended by Facebook. So we've done all the research, we've put the time in, and we've put it all into this book for you guys. So if you want to download it, scroll to the bottom and click download. Wish you the best of luck in your life and in business. We'll see you in the next video.